Hello, today we're going to install and build a simple example for the C++ ASIO library. Here's the home page for the documentation. I'm going to open the non-boost uh, version of it. And there's a section on using, building, and configuring. And that's open here. Uh, so first we need to download it. I have a little script that will help us get it. So we can download it uh, here. And now that it's downloaded, we can unzip it. So this is our library that we have here. The important files are in the include directory because it's a header-only library. But there are also a lot of examples in the source directory. Um, the documentation tells us to run uh, dot configure and we don't have a boost installation to uh, configure it with so we're just going to run dot configure and let's look at the source directory there are a bunch of examples in here and they have them for different c++ versions but let's look at the C++ 11 ones. There are examples for using HTTP, uh, for buffers, and a lot of other things. But the simplest one here is timers. That's the one that we're going to be building ourselves. Uh, if you want to uh, build it with their makefile, build all of their examples with their makefile, you can just run make in the root directory of the installation, uh, but that takes a long time to do. Um, and if you want to uh, check that everything will, that all the examples will build and run correctly on your, on your setup, uh, you can run make check. And if you do that, you'll end up with uh, a screen that has a bunch of green text if it everything succeeds properly. Um, I'm not going to do that because it took about 10 minutes, but uh, if you want to double check that you have all everything installed correctly, then you can do that. But for our purposes, we're just going to take this uh, single source program that they have here, and I'm going to steal that. So let's make a test program and move that there. Now to compile this, we obviously need to include the header files from the ASIO library. But if you try and just compile it like this, then you'll get a, an error that says some undefined reference to pthread sigmask. And the solution to that, which you'll see, if you look through their mic file, they used uh, the dash p thread flag, which is necessary to compile this. And so if we run this program, uh, then, um, and, and what this program does is it just, it just shows you how to use the asynchronous wait API. Um, so it has all of the examples have a lot of comments and there's um, so so you can read through the comments to see like how to use the API they're using in this example we're just waiting synchronously for five seconds and then waiting asynchronously for five seconds so now that we've built it we can try that out and make sure that does what we expect it to do all right started synchronous wait five seconds finished synchronous wait and then five seconds for the asynchronous wait. Um, so we've installed and built an example with this library. Um, there's, uh, like I have here, there's a lot of uh, documentation here. There are many more examples you can pull from, but hopefully this helps you get up and running with it.